So I've got this fuel filter here that came with the ECS tuning 60,000 mile maintenance service kit. It's a uh, fuel filter with an internal pressure regulator. So you've got your fuel feed from your fuel tank, the outlet that goes to your high pressure fuel pump which supplies your engine with fuel, and then you've also got a fuel return line. Today we're going to install this on the Mark VI Volkswagen Golf R. Uh, this is going to be the fourth and final video of the 60,000 mile service maintenance series. So without further ado, let's get this thing on the lift and we'll get started. So with the car lifted, we're going to look on the passenger rear side of the vehicle, right in front of the rear wheel. And unfortunately, this lift is kind of obstructing your view, but this guy right here, this is your fuel filter. You've got the inlet, the return, and the supply to the engine. Uh, so you have to take these little plastic clips off. Um, and they have a little button that you have to depress and then pull them off. So I'm going to try to show you how to remove those fuel lines. You kind of push them, push them towards the fuel filter, depress the button, then pull them away. Full disclosure, I have been working on these for about an hour and a half. The clips are very finicky, so you got to be careful not to break the little clips off because if you do, you have to replace the entire fuel line. You can't just replace the clips on the end of them. So be careful with that. Also know that if you have recently had your car running, uh, there may be pressure in the fuel system. So when you take that first line off, uh, that may be under pressure. For me, I had my car off for about 15 minutes and it was just drips when I first took them off. So I'm gonna show you how to do this quick, but realize that this is for demonstration purposes and I've already worked on this. Uh, so please don't expect it to be this easy. Now that both of these are removed, we need to remove the fuel line for the supply. For this line, the button that you have to depress up here is actually on the other side, so you're going to need to use uh, a pick tool or something to get around the other side and push the button down this way. and you will have some residual fuel inside the filter. So if you want, you can grab the, the caps from the new filter and put them on, which that's what I'll do right now. The last thing we have to do, there's a screw in there that's holding the strap on the filter. So we gotta remove that and then we can remove the filter. It actually appears to be a Phillips. It's so corroded I can't really tell. was in fact a Phillips head if I could find the camera here. It was a Phillips, highly corroded. Um, I'll probably try to find another screw to put back in there when I reinstall the new filter. So what we're gonna do now is we can pull this strap down to a little filter housing. The filter is held in place by a peg up at the top. And there we go.
So with that screw back in place, you can simply take the lines and pop them over. And you'll hear a click. That means that they're they're over the barb and they're they're ready to go. You know, listen for the click. That one's on. Now the supply to the high pressure fuel pump. Push that on. Wait for the click. And don't forget this hanger on your brake line. And if everything has gone correctly, this should be ready to go. So that's pretty much it. Uh, as you saw, I primed the fuel pump by turning the car on auxiliary, turning it off and turning on auxiliary again. That just primes up the fuel pump. Hopefully we can get this thing started right away. Uh, I'm gonna open up the garage door and see what happens. All right, so I know that was a rough one. Didn't have a very good angle on the camera due to this scissor lift. The arm was kind of right underneath the fuel filter. I hope you did see at least a little bit of what I was doing. Because of the angle, I want to link another video in the description of this video. It's gonna be Deutsch Auto Parts and they're gonna do the identical install. Instead of installing this on a Mark VI Volkswagen Golf R, they are installing it on a GTI exact same procedure, much better video quality. I'm also gonna link the part link for this fuel filter. It's gonna take you to ECS Tuning. If you do decide to go through that link and buy anything from ECS Tuning, I get a small kickback, which helps me fund these channels and improve the quality. Quick recap of this procedure. We basically had to just remove the three fuel lines, remove the screw holding the housing in, then you could remove the old fuel filter and then install the new one. Prime the pump and you can start the engine and you're on your way. Sounds easy. The clips on these fuel lines gave me a lot of trouble. Just be really patient with those. You don't want to break them. If you do break those clips, you have to replace the entire fuel line. You don't want to do that. Go check out the video at Deutsch Auto Parts YouTube channel. Paul does a great job explaining all of this and what to avoid when you are trying to remove those clips. Uh, also check out ECS Tuning. Uh, huge thanks to them for providing this part as well as the rest of the 60,000 mile service kit. If you did like this video, you found it helpful, give it a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Forgot one thing, me being the inquisitive engineer that I am, I really wanted to understand how this thing regulated pressure. As I said, it has an internal pressure regulator. Could not find how that works online, so I think I'm going to open this guy up, check it out, and figure out how this thing works. I'm pretty sure that there's a spring and a diaphragm in there somewhere. Not sure how it works, so I'll probably bring you guys along for that journey in another video. So stay tuned for that.